What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. We're in the garage today. No M4. The M4 is in a secret location getting brake calipers repainted in a cool color because it was a boring black. If you haven't checked out my video like two weeks ago giving away a F82 M4 spoiler, so go comment on there your Instagram with and make sure you have an M4 posted on there to win it. And before we get into today's video, I wanna show you guys it's the window stickers that I received finally. And I'll tell you guys how I did it in another video. But let me show you guys those really quick. Here they are, finally, from BMW. It took them a while to get me these. I'll make a separate video how to receive them again if you lose them or the dealer loses them. It's really easy, pretty cheap probably for the dealer or free. But stick around for that video. Subscribe to see when it comes out. In today's video, we're comparing the DCT dual clutch that comes in the F82 M4 compared to the torque converter automatic in the G82 that I have now. This torque converter transmission is found in most BMWs probably to save money. It's called the ZF8. And towards the end of the video, I'll tell you guys which one I prefer and think is better transmission. And before we get into it, what transmission do you guys prefer? Let me know if you prefer DCT, ZF8, or even manual down in the comments below. Now let's get into the video. So the switch from DCT from my last M4 to this one was my biggest fear. I haven't test drove any cars, I just ordered it and kind of sent it but keep watching to find out if that fear was valid or not but basically I'm gonna tell you guys what it feels like coming from DCT going to the new ZF8 first and second gear low speeds are not jerky anymore like the dual clutch but then on the other side it kind of takes away from the rawness of the DCT the ZF8 is definitely more comfortable compared to the DCT when daily driving. But that's not the main concern for me because I don't really daily drive this car. So I prefer not to be as comfortable. That's why I have bucket seats. And it's the same gear selector where you go kind of diagonal for reverse and then to the right for drive. And then in instead of the middle being neutral, it's now to the left kind of. And then if you want to go in the park, there's a button for it now. Not sure exactly why they have to always make it complicated, but that's just BMW for you. Now the Shifts are not as fast anymore and then when you click them it doesn't react as fast anymore but it's pretty close, close enough. Is it still as good? Maybe in automatic mode when it knows when to shift for you and everything, it's pretty cool. But in manual mode, it's not as fun anymore because there's so many short gears and when you click it, it doesn't react right away like dual clutch. So kind of prefer being in automatic for that. The same thing applies when you downshift, not only upshift for the late reaction. The nice thing now, there's cooler shift noises when you go from like first to second gear really fast full throttle it makes those fart noises us car guys like and the benefit is you have all-wheel drive now so that's really great with this transmission in automatic mode shifts pretty quick for what it is and power wise untouched the ZF8 will hold a little more power until you get to a certain range where it just overheats and they don't have really many upgrades for that yet the dual clutch will hold less but you just change the clutches out and you can go however high up in power you want this was kind of a neutral comparison but now let's get into more of my opinions of both and what I like more don't get me wrong, they're both good. They all have their bad and good in different scenarios. I mainly got it because it was the only option for the X drive. Maybe if they had manual for it, I would have chosen that. I was kind of bummed when I heard they're getting rid of the DCT and now we have to live with a torque converter in our cars. It makes sense. They're targeting more of those daily drivers compared to weekend drivers. And that's the majority of buyers, I'm guessing, that it's going to get driven and people want to be comfortable, not only full race car. And it'll save them money at BMW just putting it in all the same cars and it being good enough pretty much. It's a good overall transmission for every kind of scenario. So it's not bad at all. 
personally, I like cars with dual clutches more. It's a more fun experience compared to the torque converters, which I don't like as much. So that's like the only gray area for my opinion on the G80, G82 overall. It's great for what it is, but again, personally, I like the faster shifting more raw DCT. My favorite dual clutch is the PDK though. I'm sure the DCT is not, wasn't as great as that. And my next goal is to get a car with a PDK besides the Macan over here. I had it on a 911 that was also Voodoo Blue and I really enjoyed it the most. Even better than driving a Huracan. Could potentially get one new, but I would that would mean I would sacrifice the M4 as a trade-in, which I don't really want to do. I prefer to have both, maybe just wait for the 911, then add it on and document both builds. So again, check out another last video for the F82 M4 spoiler if you want that one. And we'll have a window sticker video coming soon. So hit that subscribe button to be alert for every weekly video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this one. Your support will keep me going. And thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you next week. Peace.